Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It's Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you don't celebrate, hope you're just having a good time. If you celebrate something else, have fun. Just, just have a good time, whatever is going on. I'm in my Christmas PJs because I didn't want to wear anything else. I'm tired of wearing adult clothing. I don't want to wear adult stuff anymore. I want to wear cozy, comfy, warm stuff that feels good on my skin. Today we're talking about a very unorthodox Christmas movie, but it is absolutely a Christmas movie. It's called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, written and directed by Shane Black, who often likes to insert Christmas things into his movies, whether that's Lethal Weapon or even The Nice Guys. So after being mistaken for an actor, a New York thief is sent to Hollywood to train under a private eye for a potential movie role, but the duo are thrown together with a struggling actress into a murder mystery. The film stars Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, and Michelle Monaghan, and nowadays Downey Jr. has credited this movie as one that helped him gain more credibility in Hollywood and maybe even got him the Iron Man role eventually, or at least helped. He was coming off some past controversies, as most people know. He had The Singing Detective, then Gothica, and finally Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which solidified that he was absolutely still an incredible talent. Absolutely no one does buddy cop movies or noir detective comedy mysteries like Shane Black. Nobody. He's got that down pat. If you look at Lethal Weapon, The Last Boy Scout, The Long Kiss Goodnight, and as already mentioned, The Nice Guys along with this film, he basically has owned those kinds of movies and has put an indelible stamp on them. What's so great about this movie amongst a million things is that the dialogue is so freshly written, and really does feel improv even though a lot of it is on the page. Shane Black is excellent at writing dialogue that feels like the general human train of thought that we all kind of have, and sometimes we just blurt it out, and it comes out a certain way, and it's like, yeah, I think that was kind of how it was in my head, and I said it fairly well. I hope you like this conversation I'm having with you, random person. Please reply in a way that is also kind of like a long train of thought that wasn't really thought out all that much. And that's how a lot of Shane Black's characters sound in the movie. But what's so brilliant about that is that he's able to make that dialogue feel so effortless, but his words take on this poetic beauty that inevitably lead to a punchline that feels so perfect, it's maddening. <laughs> I'm so jealous of this movie in every way. There is a funny, gut-busting joke like every few minutes. And even within scenes, Downey Jr. And, and Val Kilmer are talking so quickly and with such energy that you miss things. I've seen the movie probably four times, and on this fourth viewing, I got jokes I never got before. I watched it with my buddy who likes to watch movies with the subtitles on, and so I had the subtitles on for him, and there were jokes that I've missed that I saw like in those subtitles between the lines, so to speak, that I've never heard before. But my buddy watching it brought up something I thought was pretty profound, and it's that the way Shane Black introduces his characters to this world and makes them all part of the same mystery is ingenious because let's just say another writer got to do this movie and he had a basic idea of where Shane Black was gonna go with it. And he decided, you know what, we need all of these people at a party in LA to meet and become part of this murder mystery. So let's make one of them an actor, let's make one of them an actress, and let's make the other guy a detective who just so happens to be working with a producer there. Yeah, I mean, that would have worked, but wouldn't it be much funnier if the aspiring actress accidentally scared a drunk old actor who's dressed up like a robot who then falls off of her balcony and dies. She is later interviewed on the news and a producer realizes that he would like to meet her and invites her to this party. That's a much funnier way to get her there. And what if Robert Downey Jr.'s character isn't even an aspiring actor at all? He's just a thief whose partner was just killed during a robbery, who happens to stumble into an audition room, and he's in an emotional state of panic, and he might get the part because he was so good, they think, even though he was just running away from the police. Much better than just an actor who shows up that day. And that's another thing that Shane Black does so well, especially in this movie, is he doesn't just look for the easy ways to have things happen, including in the main character's narration, which you might think is actually a crutch or the easy way to get things going, and in some cases it is in a movie, but not here, because Shane Black takes this narration and does every single thing you could possibly do with it. Because Downey's character literally is an unreliable narrator and that he forgets to explain things a lot and goes, wait, hold up, I have 
I forgot something. Sorry. You know, it's like when your dad tells a bad joke and he has to backtrack to make the joke work. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And he, and he says stuff like that that creates a joke around the idea of an unreliable narrator because he straight up forgets everything all the time. And even though Shane Black has brought so much to these kinds of movies, he doesn't mind making fun of them either and he takes every single chance he can to do so. Like a scene where they're both interrogating somebody, he thinks, well, let's just play Russian roulette and scare this guy into saying something, and unfortunately, the first click happens to have a bullet behind it. You see that in movies all the time, where characters do a Russian roulette thing or something with somebody they're trying to interrogate, and it's like, you know, this is really cinematic and perfect that you're doing this right now, and it's working out for you, but like, what if it didn't? <laughs> Shane Black is also great in introducing genuinely dark and somewhat horrifying elements to characters' backstories and having it somehow under the guise of comedy. And he's doing it very well here because a lot of characters have gone through quite a bit in their lives. And he's also taking the idea of the alpha male who's going to protect everybody and save women and, and be the best person ever and kind of holding that character over the fire as well. In an early scene where Downey Jr. tries to make this epic speech to protect a woman and ends up getting his ass kicked. The dialogue and the back and forth, the chemistry between Val Kilmer and Robert Downey Jr. in the film is so consistently great that it's almost impossible to remember everything about it. You, you kind of just discover a new joke every time you watch the movie because it is so rapid fire and so fast paced. But the murder mystery itself is also very investing too, just like The Nice Guys and Lethal Weapon. This is just a great movie. It's not like a movie the whole family's gonna watch around Christmas. There's a lot of F words and the movie even addresses that breaking the fourth wall to apologize for as many F words as it has. But it's really not that much compared to others. But for a Christmas movie, yeah, it's a lot. If you've never seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, I think it's an excellent movie. You have got to see it at some point. I showed my kids a Charlie Brown Christmas this year as well as the Hey Arnold Christmas special. And then when they went to bed, I was like, I'm gonna watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. <laughs> and that's what you should do if you're an adult. If you got kids, watch Home Alone, have fun. But then when they go to bed, I don't know, watch Home Alone 2, and then watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to my best of the year list coming very soon. Thank you as always, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.